What's up nerds, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking all about crates. Crates that hold tackle and are made of plastic most of the time. All the time? <laughs> all the time. All right, so we got several brands that we want to talk about today. Uh, we do not own all of them, so we no. will be referencing some that we have used in the past, either from borrowing somebody's kayak, talking to somebody at a boat ramp, uh, messing around with it at a store. Or got hammered in the comments. Or got yelled at about in the comments, <laughs> Wilderness Systems. We uh, love it. We love it. We love it. It's, we, good. it's great. We've done crate videos in the past, and now we've used or been able to use the Black Pack Pros, the standard milk crates, the H crate for just a long period of time. So we're going to give you total feedback on that, and we want to talk to the value, the overall value proposition of each of these. So if you're on the market for a crate, you're looking to upgrade a crate, you're looking to try to make a decision here, this video should be helpful for you. And if it is, be sure to subscribe and smash the like. Or just subscribe and smash the like. Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below as well. And call out any brands that we missed, because guess what? We probably missed some. Let's start at the bottom. We started from the bottom. The bottom. The bottom of the price range. Yes. So this is a milk crate, right? And these are readily available. No two are the same except for the general dimensions. This is I've lost my co-host. Your co-host has props. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna show you is how you could fill one of these up uh, just gently. as gently as possible. So this will not fit 3,700 size the long way. That is the case for almost every Everything. single crate yep. out there with some very few exceptions at we'll all. We'll get to later. We will get to those later. But they will fit them vertically and then there's usually room for one 3,600 box along the side. <laughs> oh, uh, the deep will not fit, but I love it. I like your enthusiasm. Oh, you're going to throw that one? No. <laughs> so there's a 3600 size box. You can do two that way, or yeah, you can go one this direction. So that's if you're jamming this thing only full of the standard types of boxes that you see on the market. Now, that being said, we recognize that people use these for things other than just bait storage. I like to use mine for lunch and water bottles and coats and whatever it is that you mm -hmm. happen to need for the day. Some people just keep toolkits back here. You just, anything you want to keep inside your vessel. But this is the general generally accepted, most commonly understood way of explaining the capacity. And you can also add accessories to the side of this, like rod tubes. So all you gotta do is go to your local Wally World, Walmart, and you can grab a couple of them, and they just like screw on or bolt on and get a bracket a for them. Tie. Or you zip tie them, which is what I did on my past yeah. one, so. But that's the great thing about the milk crate is because of the, like the, they all look a little bit different. Perforated walls. <laughs> it's holes. One, <laughs> water's not going to be a problem for you, yep. but everything inside is definitely going to get wet at some yep. point. But your ability to put anything on here is like essentially completely unlimited, and it's very inexpensive. This is yep. by far the less ex least expensive version of this. I had two of these at my house. I didn't even buy I don't even know how I got this. Everyone, they just, they just, they just a, show up. They just appear in your life, <laughs> and you're always happy about it. But like legitimately, uh, these, are, these are not too difficult to come across, and they're not that expensive to go buy. They may even make kits for just like doing whatever you want with these things. So this is the most flexible. I don't think that's an argument. You can do whatever you want with them. The only problem yep. is it's a perfect square, and they don't make any other versions of milk crates that they I do, know of. Actually, oh really? Yeah, they make oh. long versions. So for a couple bucks more, you can probably find these on Amazon. That would be the easiest way. Go away, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> so they do actually make different versions of milk crates. So you can get a longer one, in which case potentially you could lay these sideways if that matters to you. It doesn't matter to me. You can also like clip a bungee over top of this. So if you're worried about rolling, losing it, bungee attachments are free. We were talking about that. Like, yeah. Carabiners and bungees together, you're spending max five, ten bucks on That's Amazon. Great. You can make this super secure. It is like it's really hard to argue against this, other than the fact that you can get more stock features and stuff with some of the other brands we'll talk about in a minute. But if you're just looking to save a ton of money, you can build like the ultimate milk crate. I'm sure that's a YouTube video. There's, there's dozens. Like, if you just search ultimate yeah. milk crate on YouTube, you're gonna find a ton of these. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can build the ultimate one for like under 50 bucks. And, and it you, would do everything. Yeah, and if you see somebody at the ramp and they're running one of these instead of like what just got behind us in the black pack for Set like them up 100. one of these. Give them a, <laughs> all right, smart boy. We love a DIYer, so yeah. that is the milk crate option yep. there's again there's no wrong answer this is a great answer though yep so next up we're gonna go up in price range just a wee bit we want to talk about the flambeau crate which you are 
in love with. I love the flambeau crane. It's really cool. So it looks like this. Wow, look at it. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> this is incredible. So, <laughs> so as you saw in this photograph, mm -hmm. uh, the flambeau crate is basically a square uh, gray crate that's made of plastic similar it's to It's actually the other. a cube. It's a three-dimensional square, God, Paul. I, you are so right. It, <laughs> I'm, I'm upset. It's a, it is a cube. <laughs> Dang. You were about to be slaughtered. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> I have to remind myself. So, <laughs> I forgot. We're friends. Yeah. yeah we're but what I love about the flambeau, so there's there's got like two different models that you can get. There's without the top lid. It looks mm -hmm. like this. And it just has bungees across the top. That is genius. Stock That's, bungees. Yeah, it, but then the, the difference between a milk crate and why would you pay forty bucks for like this version of yep. it is because uh, it's really easy to attach their version of rod holders to the sides, and their rod holders have clips on them for clipping them into the rod, or your rod into the rod holder. So if you tip, they wouldn't fall out. To attach so other easy. accessories to bungee other yeah. things, it's really clutch, and it's built to fit inside of a lot of different kinds of kayaks. So there's the super cheap version, then there's the one that has the one we showed you. This one that. It has the lid on top and the lid is a hinge so it's like you get 20% more storage I use this exact one for two days straight I had never even I didn't even us I didn't even know it existed it was yeah. one it was it was a pleasure to use it was a pleasure to use it was not perfect uh, when you are forced to use a lid you are limited on space because you you can stack 36 that 3700 size boxes we'll show you right here well yeah I got it right here so because you can do this you can fit more boxes when the top is open. If I yep. had a lid, I could only use 3,600 boxes, yep. or even if it was longer, I'm very limited. They have the to be laid down. 3,700s. Yep. So, yeah. So you can see pros and cons. Yeah. Right? And the price is insane. It is. On sale for eighty bucks. It was normally a hundred and seven dollars. Hundred ten bucks. Like it's it's a it's a crazy good value. So with the lid, hundred ten bucks. It's like forty bucks without the lid. You can find them for less than a hundred dollars with the top lid hingy thing. Yeah. They were it was sturdy. It was not as tall as I thought it was, and it worked really really well. So yep. highly recommend. Overall, I think it's very useful if you like having that top thing. Mm -hmm. It's the best version of one that has a top thing, in my yep. humble opinion. All right, so going up from there, you end up with the Black Pack Pro. This is coming from Yak Attack. Now it comes in three different sizes, which is why it's the next price point, because mm -hmm. you can get it generally for as low as 125 and as expensive as 175. <laughs> Now you you went with the middle model, which was like one forty five. So there's a thirteen by sixteen. There's, there's a, a thirteen thirteen. That's a thirteen by thirteen, a perfect square cube. <laughs> <laughs> there's a rectangle. <laughs> there's a prism. Oh wait, no, there's not. There's a quadrilateral of sorts. It's a triangle. Yeah, it's a square. Oh <laughs> Just loving the solution oh these God. days. To the 13 by 13 cube, uh, you had the, the, the dimensions are the outside dimensions of the opening. So 13 by 13, then there's a 13 by 16, which is a little bit longer. I do have that one. I've been using it. I like it a lot. We'll go through that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the one right behind us, which is the largest one and the most expensive at 16 by 16. So a square opening of 16 by 16 in the cube yeah. that it is, uh, and it is very large. Anyway. Okay, so this is the 16, 16, 13 because of how tall it is uh, and this has a lid on it because I built it as you're supposed to if you follow all the instructions What are some of the features that make this so great though? And why would you pay hundred and eighty dollars for a what could be yeah. a long milk crate? So first off don't pay hundred and eighty dollars wait for a sale 150 on, right now They go on sale a lot. So I got this Black Friday 25% off. Do that instead, you'll be happy. Be patient, use a milk crate until then, make the big upgrade, you'll be so pleased. Okay, so first of all, that. Second of all, it comes with a ton, an insane amount of features. If you look at this, it came stock with six rod holders, Gasp. three per side. You can use them all if you want or not. And, and they are adjustable, so you can, I have them mounted too low, I'm gonna have to raise these up to fit onto my new big water, but you can mount them much higher because they have one, two, three, four screw holes on them. So you can just raise it up and use two of the four screw holes and you'll be perfectly fine. But that, so brings, me, that brings me to kind of what the, some of the most amazing features about this uh, crate is that one, you'll notice that there are little pinholes, little screw holes all over. A million over of them. In a grid mm -hmm. on all areas of the box. They're not on the bottom but on all other areas of the box, yep. they exist. But now, if you look, yeah. this is their gridlock system. So if you look, there's like these little 
That one's open on the inside, that one's closed, right? That's coming from the outside. So you can actually <laughs> screw from both sides. It's designed for these screws to be hand screwed in. <laughs> what happens if you use a drill? You strip it out. <laughs> Even at the lowest possible setting, you'll strip it's it. It's not a dig, it's just that's how it's constructed. No, it's, it's a con. It's something that you need to be aware of. Yes, for They sure. do say in their videos, but they don't really outline it very well in the instructions. You need a hand screw. Now the problem with that is these are some assembly required. <laughs> A I lot took, of assembly. I was filming it. It took me 45 minutes. Same. It takes a chunk of time. It's tedious. It's not hard. No. Uh, but there are a lot of screws. So if you're hand screwing all of these, it takes... <laughs> well, I'm longer than 45. I used a drill. I didn't strip any I out, but I used a drill. I used a drill as well. I, I stripped three. <laughs> Pro tip, if you do strip one out and it's a really important one, uh, just put a little glue in there, screw it in, let it dry. You'll it, be fine. It's not going anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> But, that, so, but what makes this so great is this grid means I can put the handle here, 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 here. If I or want to. Oh, any other accessory yeah, that you want. Yeah. You want a camera mount, you want a track mount on top if you use the lid, like whatever. So many people have used yep. these for their battery storage and all their electronics, right? If you have forward facing yep. sonar, that's a ton of equipment. It can all be bolted to the side of this you can on the inside in or the outside. Yep. Uh, and then they actually, now the Yakutak makes the, the really through sweet wire. through wire uh, kit. It's incredible. I've already used it on my one of my builds, they're amazing. But you can put them anywhere you want. Cords coming out of whoever, for whatever, for any reason, it's incredible. You can not have the lid. You can make the lid open on whatever way that you want. It I have snaps. mine opening sideways. Yeah. The snaps are very nice. Yep. But you can put these on anywhere you want. You can have one hinge, two hinges, have them mm -hmm. in the middle, have them on the outside. You can have no handles, two handles. Like, yep. you can put these anywhere you want. It's so awesome. It is, I, would you say, uh, next to the milk crate, which we've already said is universally like it is the most accessorizable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the next most universally accessorizable. Within its own world of accessories, but because that's securely. what Yak Tech, yep. Yak Tech does, hands down. These uh, rod tubes, it should be said, have a bungee with them and a hook for holding your um, rods in the rod tube in case you flip. You just attach this to your rod butt and it's holding them down for you, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. It comes with, we'll spin it real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, it has these. Uh, things on the sides here for attaching more accessories mm -hmm. on either bungees or not on bungees or whatever. Uh, kind of like some of the other ones. Super, yeah, any straps. It, your tie down points can go anywhere on the mm -hmm. corner that you want. They have their own version, but you don't need them. You can attach them to your rod holders. You can do, like, the flexibility is mm -hmm. insane. So I love that. And I will say too, it's not waterproof. It's not waterproof, mm -hmm. but like for just general rain, not very much, if any water at all, is getting in here. Like, I've gone through, and the general splashing, nothing is getting inside this box because it is solid. Mm -hmm. They're tech, it's not submersible, but it's very weather resistant. So, yep. would I want all of my electronics in here with no protection? Not necessarily. Would I put them in here and feel really confident that if they got a very smidge wet, I would be okay? Yes. That it's it's yeah. sick. And we've seen plenty of people do that already, so I'd yeah. feel confident with that, yeah. knowing that vicariously living through I've someone else. I've seen someone else do it. Yeah. So for me personally, and probably for you too, we're taking the lid off. The problem with the yeah. lid is it doesn't open all the way, right? right? It's a stop hinge. So it does stop at this point. So if I need to reach behind, open this up, I have to flip the lid up, flip the lid close. It's not a big deal, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's big enough. It's a big enough deal. So I'm taking the lid off of mine personally. Well, and a I'm lot gonna of... raise these rod tubes up so that it'll fit in the tank well back here, which I'm excited about. And a lot of people like <laughs> the, a lot of people like the lid for the waterproofness of it, but also to mount like a camera up here. Mm -hmm. You can mount a boom arm off the top of this, which I see most people doing. Yeah. Um, or again, other electronics or other anything that you like <laughs> can go up here, uh, including rod holders. It's pretty nuts. Yeah. So a lot of people like that. What I dislike and my biggest gripe with all lids in general is that we were talking about it earlier you can't fit the 3700 size vertically uh, or as many so we'll show you what that looks like so they sit above it's also at, at the 16 it's an odd width so you can see if we rotate this there's this big chunk of space back here so you can like oddly mismatch and line up about 10 boxes, maybe a little more. So you can get a lot in here. Now, a ton. <laughs> so, Hold on, let's grab the milk crate real quick. Make sure this will go inside. <laughs> <laughs> what the fart? So you can take your milk crate <laughs> and give it a nice little house. It's pretty cool. So here we go. We got three, six, seven boxes in here. One of them's a deep, one of them's a thin. Yep. 
There you go. So you go this way, then you could close your lid and you're good. Hooray! Or but you're totally well, and you could put one more on top with yep. a 3600. So, Ooh. yep. Or if you turn them, it's a different story. Hold these. Yeah, get that. The story is different. <laughs> All right. So if we, well, get those first, I guess. You can do it. My hands are very cold. I bet. What's that like? <laughs> How are your feet? Freezing. <laughs> I'm in Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy smokes. So this holds a lot, as you can see. Uh, so we've got two deep boxes in here. We got two- Terminals. Two terminals? No, one. Oh yeah, two terminals. We got an Alabama rig, we got a soft cube, we got two 3700s, and then we got another 3700 over here. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And boxes. really this is like one and a half, almost two, so nine or 10. Yep, with space. So it holds a lot, very large capacity, which becomes very heavy as well, so. But that's, another three, but that's another three boxes when you take mm -hmm. the lid out. So that's why like getting rid of the yeah. lid, like the lids can be great. Having the dual purpose lid that's like trays and stuff is, is really nice, mm -hmm. but it is going to limit you. Now it mm -hmm. does added benefits, but it's pros and cons. So it's your choice, no right or wrong answers. <laughs> Only wrong. Hooked on phonics. <laughs> so we go beyond this level, right? So that's the Black Pack Pro. We would say there's a lot of pros to it. Uh, do we think it's worth it? I do, personally. I'm pretty stoked You own it. one, so. I own one on purpose. There's a reason for that. Now, the next one up from here is actually kind of a sidestep with a lot of misses, right? And that is the H-Crate. Now, we've been running the Hobie H-Crate for a while. Now, having used it at this point for four years, what I can say is, is it sturdy? Yes. Does it have the H-Rail uh, accessory option? Yes. Which I use. Is that cool? Yeah, I put a cup holder on the side of it. You can put a, a side bin on the side of it. That's neat. The built-in rod holders built -in rod are holders. great. There's only four of them. I, but they're really great. And you can mount more stuff to the side because it has that plastic wall with through holes so you can actually run bolts straight through. It's zero drilling. Kind of like this. Kind of like this. This is, you would screw into it. That one, you put a bolt through and you got to throw a lock nut on the or other side. Or you just screw in and scratch the can, heck out of whatever you put in there. Yep, or you can zip tie it. There's lots of accessorization that can be done to it, that. It is sturdy too. Because of the mm -hmm. aluminum aluminum H-rail that goes around the top, mm -hmm. that thing is rock solid. You're never gonna break it. No. There's no flimsy in no, it. No, it is rock solid. Uh, it does come in a junior size as well for like $4 less. <laughs> it's a little bit cheaper, right? So the standard size was 180 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, so the H-Crate standard size is $180. <sighs> now, having used it for as long as I've used it, and I've, I've been totally fine with it. I think it's completely overpriced for what it is, and I think that there's a lot of better options out there. So that's my experience. But it, it did You've had the same thing. But it, yeah, but it did exactly what we asked it, it to do. It did what it was supposed to do. It was an open top, no lid option. There is technically a lid zipper option. Hang on, I used the <laughs> lid. It was completely worthless. <laughs> no, don't do it. You basically, it's got these little plastic push pins that go all around it. There's about 80 of them. It's, it's a pain in the butt to put in. Do the that. zipper opening small. Don't, don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't it's do not it. waterproof. No. Just get bungees over the top. Just bungee. But <clears throat> um, so yeah, no lid option. But like, mm -hmm. I, it, it, it's what opened my eyes to the value of not having a lid, though. So I have to give it credit where credit is due. I've I, used no lid for so long. I don't know how to live with a lid, <laughs> so and I'm, I'm not, not going to. Yeah, it's coming off, maybe. Yeah. So um, you know, and if you have a Hobie, it's. It's built to go in there. I mm -hmm. kind of I would recommend it to, to a Hobie owner. Um, oh yeah, they're really great. Uh, yeah. So, but for the price, it's not a value. It's just not. The Black Pack Pro is a better value. Facts. Go with that. Yep. Whether it's the 13, 13, 13, 16, or 16, 16, Agreed. you're going to be way happier with this. I would agree. Than that. Mm -hmm. uh, so finally, we get to the one we get yelled at about, which is all the time. Also, a sideways mostly move. It's 180 to 200 dollars, and yeah. it is the Wilderness Systems crate. The, that looks like a cooler. Because it kind of is. Kind of, kind of is. It's a, <laughs> so it's a blow molded uh, plastic. It's got a tray on top with which like a clear cool. plastic lid, which is very cool. Like very it, cool. they make the most out of having a lid, I think. Next to Flambo, it's very nice. I like the little dividers. Do the not. single latch is kind of nice, like just like the Yeti type. It's the Yeti type rubber latch, so like it's that. ultra secure. And I mean, having and single, it's nice to have the single yeah. well, one with a pull. There's three. So the top lid has a single mm -hmm. and then the bottom, the main compartment has it's two, two mm -hmm. which is annoying, cool and not cool because reaching behind. You're only going to use one though. 
Yeah. That's what happens with the Yeti. Well, all you're going to leave it half open. One and yeah, you have yeah. half open. You're going to use fair one. Enough. Let's be fair. Uh, <laughs> and then when you open it, the capacity is equivalent to like the, I think it's like a medium. Um, it's one like of a these, 13, like a 13, 16. 16 type capacity. So, a rectangle? Yep. It's a rectangle opening <laughs> in a cube. <laughs> so, it's, you know, it is, it is sizable. Yeah. Um, you could use it as a cooler. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to be the best cooler you've ever used in your life, I don't think. Yep. But they, and I think they have a cooler model. Yep. Um, for I like the way they attach the rod holders with the extenders was very that smart. I genius. really like that. It's a little bit less. It's more prescriptive than this one, but there yeah. are options, and I think there's enough options for like yeah. a three on one side, two on the other. And you can angle those, which the this can, not yet. The Yak Attack doesn't have that yet, but they're going to make an accessory. You'll have to you buy money. it. Mm, so that's, that. that's kind of a loss. Uh, so yeah, I, I think overall, uh, us not mentioning it in the past or saying like it's mm -hmm. don't even look at that thing was a mistake on For our sure. part. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, the wilderness system setup, heavy. it's awesome. If you can get it on sale, great. It is heavy. 11 pounds. 11 pounds is pretty heavy for a crate. Just to wrap on the wilderness systems unit, like I think it's a really cool looking crate yeah. that has a lot of killer features. Mm -hmm. It would be totally worth it. It's very different than a lot of the other models. So as far as innovation, it's very innovative. Yeah. And having never used one, it looks like it would be very usable, and it has some pros and cons, just like every other thing. One thing when we were going through, we were like, "What? Let's look at the what are these weight?" Weigh? Because uh, I was, I thought the Wilderness Systems would have been way heavier than oh, yeah. all the other options, just looking at it. Uh, so we looked at like twenty pounds. Yeah, so we looked everything up. So let's go by bottom to top from price. We'll talk about the weight. Okay. Zero. Negative four pounds. <laughs> very, very light. Like yeah. I could throw this uh, yeah. across the street Not in into face. Jeff's face. All right. Um, so. <laughs> Incredibly light, yep. one pound, maybe two, something like that, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the one you get. Uh, if yep. you go a step up to the next one was the flambeau. Flambeau. The flambeau was like, I think two to five. It said two pounds. I find that hard to believe. We'll say two to five, mm -hmm. um, but pretty darn light. So a step up from that. But when you see the rest of these weights, you're going to laugh. So the yeah. H crate, uh, very expensive. Only weighs five pounds, a little over, Super just a light. shade over five. So actually, pretty light. And that's with the H rail accessories, which and the rigidity that it has. That's that's legit, clutch. dude. Yeah. That's considering it's the heaviest kayak, the pro angler is like the heaviest kayak you can get. It's Not awkward the that the light, it's one of the lighter crates. I'm just gonna mention the weight of the largest black pack pro the 16 by 16 opening cube <laughs> it's 11.9 pounds with all three rod holders if you or all six rod holders yep. and if and if you take all six rod holders off 9.1 pounds. So you shave a little bit away, but you have no rod holders. It's still almost, without the rod holders, almost twice as heavy what as the What about the lid? The lid's got to be like 7 getting, pounds. <laughs> I'm getting a couple <laughs> off, but still, it's, so this is not like, yeah. granted it's a lot bigger, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, and then that brings us to the wilderness system. So Which you would think would be 20 pounds because you're looking at a cooler. I think a Yeti cooler. A cooler ish, Yeti? but like, yeah, you think Yeti cooler. Yeti's empty, yes. heavy. They're heavy, heavy as heck. 10.9 pounds, so about a pound, pound and a half lighter than the maxed out uh, 16 by 16 Black Pack Pro. I would have never seen that. Twice as heavy Ain't as no as the you know as the H crate, but crazy that it's not the heaviest. Just looking yep. at it, I would have thought it was a lot heavier. So I would like to use one. I'd Same. like to get one. I'm not going to go buy one because I don't have a place for it. If someone wants to reach if out, Wilderness to, System, if Wilderness System, send me one. I'll do a video on it tomorrow, Same. and I would use it all the time. But yep. it look it just. I'm, I was surprised. It's still heavy though. It's it comes at the top end. So let's go through. Let's say which one. What's would, the best value? Yeah, which one's the best value? I think if you look at this lineup, it's unfortunately in my <laughs> eyes the flambeau. Yeah, I think so. Because like I don't I don't want to go get it necessarily, <laughs> but I can say if you're looking for a crate, if you want pure value. That flambeau is insane. Technically, the best value has, is a milk crate. It's got to be the milk crate for best value. Like we talked about open yep. top. If you got four rod holders on here, just four, maybe two in the back, one on, two on the sides, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, this has to be the best value. It's hard to beat. Hard to beat. I think the runner up, though, if you want like a finished product, like if you like a finished product, yep. then you just want to get it, open the box, put it in your kayak. It's the flambeau. It's the flambeau because they have so many other accessories that you can add to it as well. Can you take it to a point of like accessorization that we want it? Not necessarily. The lid is limiting. So if you're a lid guy, it's the flambeau. If you're not a lid guy, the highest value would be the crate, um, like the milk crate. If you want something that like looks freaking cool and you're gonna spend for, but can accessorize as much as you want, black pack. And there are different sizes of the black pack. So we're kind of, 
pinhole, like pigeonholing the black With pack the into just the 16, 16, but, but you go down to 13, 13, it's a much better value. It's at 125 bucks. It's a great crate. Like That's you're going to be happy with still it. Still over 100 bucks. The ones the, I would say at this point, I'd probably avoid the Hobie H crate. Just like I don't, unless you have for a non Hobie, a Hobie user, you it's know? so specific. Yeah, I would say unless if you're a Hobie user and you bought one, I'd be like, cool, makes you're, sense. You're probably I fine. totally get it. So oh, and then the Wilderness Systems, I really can't acknowledge that it's a great value. Now I've never used it, but I still just, I can't even say that this is a great value at 1616. No. I think you're paying for what you want. And I think that's where yeah. anything over 150, I think it's just, you're paying for what you want. Yeah, yeah, there's no reason that you really have to spend that much on a crate unless there's a lot of specific things that you want to do with it, or there's a specific look that you want to Like the boat. cooler option. If you want the cooler option, <laughs> pay 200 bucks, pay 250 bucks or whatever. Yeah. Totally makes sense for you. Uh, but it's not a value. So it's not going to win the value competition. Yeah. That leads me to the next question, which would be, which one do you think is just irres irrespective of price and just based on features that would apply to most kayak anglers, which mm -hmm. one do you think is the best? Like if you, if someone, okay, so unlimited that, money, what would you get? If price was not part of the equation whatsoever, if you had a million dollars to spend on one crate, mm -hmm. which crate would you get? Uh, me like looking at all these crates and like what they come with stock and what I can do with them. I feel like it's the black pack. Like, I feel like it is like I would do, I would consider the wilderness systems, but it's not, you can't accessorize it as much as you can this. You just can't because it has solid sides. It's designed to have four rod holders. All the screws are pre-tapped. They're pre-tapped and it's, that's it's it. It's flexible and it is flexible. It is. It's, it's nice. Great. It's not this flexible. I want more flexibility. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to mount a million things to this. You want no lid, you want a lid, you want, you want, they actually make a tray now that you can bolt to the top of the lid. So if you want the trays, you get two trays and bolt them on here. Like You can stack them up You endlessly. can stack them up. Like it's so, it, this is it's, by far the most flexible. I think the for me, I bought the middle size, the 13 mm -hmm. by 16 opening cube. and. I I think that that's the most value because I think you still get a ton of rod holders. Mm -hmm. You still fit a lot of, I fit a ton of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know, I love that. I, it was great. Um, I think, but I think just the format of this and at your price point for what you can fit in your kayak and what you want to store in the box, this is the one that operates the best. Mm -hmm. I will say this. If you're a big lid guy and you don't want to, like, again, you can... Add, big, big lid. You can nation. add you can add tops to this lid, yeah. which is cool. But the flambeau one works better with just like the big opening. It's like four inches deep, mm -hmm. and the top just opens up. So if you're, I would say, if you're someone who really wants to have like a lid tray on top, that's the best one. If you're someone who doesn't love the lid tray as much and wants other things this is the best. All right, you guys, that's all we got for you today. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. That's the idea here. So you got our opinions. You probably have your own opinions. Uh, we're just hoping that we can help somebody who's on the market for a crate, trying to make the right decision, get the best value, get the best bang for their buck. That's really what this is all about. Fishing doesn't have to be this crazy, overpriced, expensive, nonsensical thing. It should be fun, first and foremost. So get the thing that functions the way you want it to function and Probably this thing <laughs> if you're starting out. But that's a wrap for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Yeah.